Welcome to Baritone, brought to you by Nissan. I went back and watched the week six matchup between the Eagles and the Buccaneers. And as I broke the film down on the offensive side of the ball of the Buccaneers, I saw that Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator, must get guys in a more aggressive position to stop Tom Brady. In this game, they had some astronomical number. I think there were like 29 of 30 with passes of 10 yards or less. I mean, he virtually just dink and dunk this Eagles defense the entire game. They started out the first quarter and tried to go down the field, but then Tom Brady, the GOAT, the best player to ever play the quarterback position, adjusted. He started hitting quick routes. He started dumping off behind the line of scrimmage to running backs and to tight ends, and then they would go up and make first downs because the secondary were playing too far off. He saw what and took what they were giving him. It's imperative that Jonathan Gannon calls a more aggressive game. Get those guys on the outside playing tighter, in the slot playing tighter. Try to reroute them. I mean, look at all these pass plays in which they got the ball 10 yards away from the line of scrimmage and were able to go out there and keep the chains moving. He must stop the quick game of Tom Brady. In order to do that, he's got to call a more aggressive game. This game will be in the defensive secondary's hands. If they can play tighter, make Tom Brady hold the ball, they have a shot at beating this Buccaneers team. But they must play more aggressive on the outside, giving that defensive line a little more of an opportunity to get to Tom Brady.